Former Trump White House press secretary Kayleigh McEnany, never afraid to mix it up with reporters, as you know, and more of my exclusive interview. She opened up about being a new mom while doing that job. But we started with how she was treated in the press room and what she is seeing now with the Biden team. I would say um, disparate, um, unfair in the sense of a, and I said this to my staff often, often a Democrat woman uh, standing at that podium would never have had a Playboy reporter in the back of the room shouting at her as she left. And nor should a Democrat woman ever have to face that. And nor should a Republican woman. There's a certain modicum of respect that I think reporters uh, and those at the podium in a political role should have for one another. And there are some incredible reporters who to this day represent the kind of journalism I think is good. But uh, it was very clear. I think uh, we don't need to name names, but I think the audience will be well aware of some of the uh, reporters who were more interested in uh, being, uh, you know, political operatives, let's say, than journalists. And I think they made themselves known. I, I don't want to put you on the spot with Jen Psaki, the White House press secretary for the Biden administration. So maybe this is a better way to ask it rather than what grade would you give her? Um, how is her job different by the way she is treated than your job was in the way that you were treated? I that's, think that's fair. Yeah, that's uh, that's a that's a great question. I mean, look, first, I wish her all the best. I left her a note saying that much. Uh, we've had we've met previously one time and she was very kind. Um, and so were some of her colleagues that in the press shop. Um, and I left her a note. I wish her the best. Um, but it's different in a big way. I'll never forget watching one of the early press briefings. And she was asked about the Antifa riots and and um, I believe she said that she hadn't spoken to the president about that and they let her move on. Whereas if I would have been asked that about, you know, violence um, on the other side of the aisle, um, that wouldn't have been an answer that 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 flew, nor should it have. Um, and so I think just the standards are different. Um, but I think the, the American people are so smart, so mm -hmm. wise. They see the difference. And what I love is, is they're able to discern from themselves uh, what is true and what is not. One thing I do want to say, just back to the point of the briefings, and I'm so proud of um, um, as my legacy as press secretary and my press shop as press secretary is I really feel we gave a voice to the forgotten man and woman. And that's a phrase President Trump used. And, you know, I believe he did that when he changed the Republican Party. But at the podium, um, we named names of, of people who uh, who were not acknowledged often by the press, like David Dorn, an amazing police officer who lost his that. life. And Sequoria Turner, a beautiful girl who lost her life to crime in the streets. And Legend Talaferro, a young boy who was shot yes. in his bed and lost his life. And we brought attention to these stories and we brought attention to people who were victims of COVID in other ways. Like when I went to my cancer hospital at Moffitt Cancer Center for a mammogram and the halls were empty and it made me sad because people were missing their regular mammograms and screenings. And we brought attention to that and to mm -hmm. kids in July. We were saying open the schools, the science is there and there are devastating repercussions. So I, I feel we use the podium to really magnify uh, these forgotten men, women and, and tragic cases, children. Yeah. So much of what you said was packed with personal. And we don't often get that from the person who is standing behind the lectern. There are always a million things we can cover and things to do, but that was personal. Yes. And I, I wonder if that means something now as you watch the next person do the job, that, that it was personal for you. It was very personal. Um, and that's why when people want to malign your character and uh, say that you've lied and these horrible things that uh, charges they make against people behind the podium, me, they, they mm -hmm. made these charges. We were painstaking and footnoting our sources, talking about what's important, what message do we want to share today and personalizing it. I want everyone. Good afternoon. Yesterday, the United States witnessed a medical miracle. The first doses of a COVID vaccine were administered to frontline workers across the country. The president promised a safe and effective vaccine in record time and President Trump delivered. Earlier